Every single day, men aged 25 to 40 have approximately 19 opportunities during their day-to-day -day life to meet attractive women that they fail to capitalize on. And 87.1% of the time, they don't even realize it because his face is either buried in his phone, he's staring off into space as he walks around, or he's telling himself things like, she's out of my league, I don't know if she'll like me, I don't know what to say, and tons of other Bullshit excuses like this. Now, just because I pulled those stats out of my ass doesn't mean that you aren't missing opportunities to meet beautiful women around you during your every day to day life. You could be going on dates with those girls. You could have a potential girlfriend just by going up and saying hi to that girl you see at the grocery store at the gym. And I get it guys, I was in the same position as you. I was working my ass off and I realized that I was kind of lonely at night, right? I my dating life didn't exist. Now, I know you guys are busy grinding, working on yourselves in the gym, and you don't think that you necessarily have a lot of time to meet women, right? That may be somewhat true, but it really just boils down to using your time effectively. This is what really helped me meet a lot more women without dedicating a shitload of time to this. I want you to start making a list of every single girl you see during your day-to-day -day life that you didn't approach. At the grocery store, on the street, at the cafe, at the gym, make that list. Why didn't you approach her? Here's an example. Tall blonde girl with the purple scarf at Starbucks, right? That list is gonna get really long really fast. That list is gonna be staring you in the face, haunting you. Why didn't you do it? It was so easy, she even made eye contact with you. You know you're better than that. Then what I want you to do is feel that pain even more. <laughs> Pin that list of women that you failed to approach to your mirror so that every time you have to look yourself in the eyes, it's gonna be staring back at you. The what ifs, the coulda, shoulda, would are gonna start to haunt the shit out of you. Now guys, if you're still struggling with seeing results in your dating lives and you want that step-by-step -step roadmap to get you those results, hit the link in my description below and I'll get you on a free call. When I started doing this, it really started helping me realize that I wasn't actually too busy. I just wasn't using my time efficiently. I mean, let's just be honest here, guys. I just didn't have the balls to go up and approach women, right? I'd always talk myself out of it. I'd tell myself I was too busy and I just wasn't doing it. That's really it, right? It's not a matter of having more time. It's just a matter of using your time effectively and efficiently, that's it. And you know, I'd sit there after I was done work at night, you know, alone, right? I'd be staring at that list completely frustrated and frankly disgusted with myself because I just knew I was capable of so much more. And I just got to a point where I just couldn't take it anymore. It was those hypothetical situations. Like what if I had gone up and talked to that girl that looked at me? I could have gone on a date with that girl that weekend. I could have had a potential girlfriend, but I didn't because I rejected myself. I subconsciously told myself that I wasn't good enough. And that shit had to stop. That shit kept me up at night. Not only is it gonna be beneficial for you to make this list of women that you fail to approach, I also want you to leave that list up on your mirror so when your friends come over they're questioning it your friends are gonna think you've lost your marbles like you're a crazy stalker like Joe from you short brunette girl at Trader Joe's what's going on with you man guess what you're gonna have to explain to them that you're sick and tired of letting yourself down that you're sick and tired of missing these opportunities that you have with women around you constantly you're gonna have to tell them that you're not actually too busy you just need to make this change for yourself so you start living up to your true potential. Now, if you have some great friends that you roll with, they're gonna hold you accountable, right? Did you do it? Why didn't you do it yet? Hopefully you'll inspire them to be part of the 1% that actually has the balls to go up and speak to women in person. Very few guys have the confidence to do that these days. One thing that really helped me destroy my hesitation when it came to approaching girls in public, along with making that list, of women that I failed to approach was recording some of these excuses that were going through my mind at the time. Excuses like, oh, she probably has a boyfriend. People around me are gonna hear what we're saying. I might get rejected. It's gonna be embarrassing. And then when I started to play those excuses out loud, I mean, for lack of a better term, I started to realize that I was just being a bitch. The struggle is real. It never gets any easier. You gotta get hard. Now guys, if you're not fired up and motivated to make this change for yourself, then you might as well turn off this video because there is absolutely no hope for you. I'm kidding, but not really. I'm gonna tell you how you can permanently destroy 
that hesitation to approach women regardless of where you are. And here's the kicker, guys. It's really not that hard. The first thing you're probably doing to limit your opportunities to meet women around you during your day-to-day -day life without even realizing it is this right here. This is gonna cock block you from so many women you have no idea. So take this shit, light it on fire. <laughs> You don't need it anymore. It's done. Keep that shit in your pocket. Do not look at it when you're walking around now. Anytime you're in public, practice being as present as possible, observing what's going on in your environment, right? This is going to train you to be able to start to naturally start these conversations by asking people questions related to the environment. When you ask a girl a question related to the environment or the situation that you guys are in about her outfit, how she's carrying herself, what she's holding, there's a thousand different ways and you can begin to find and spot those ways by training yourself to be extremely present, okay? When you start these conversations, it's going to come off as more natural. You're not going to be as in your head right you're not going to be thinking about what the perfect thing to say is when you're just truly present i've never seen that drink before what is that it looks like a matcha tea on steroids right girls are going to be walking around carrying shit all the time that's a great way to start a conversation most guys miss so many opportunities to start conversations with beautiful women around them because their face is banged in their phone like this okay don't be one of those guys okay you don't want to get hit by a bus while you're texting Earl or Corey from work, okay? Next thing you're gonna start to do to meet more women during your day-to-day -day life is just blurt something out when you see the girl. Anything is better than nothing. I farted last night and it smelled like shit. I'm kidding, okay? But guys, seriously, I would rather you guys go down swinging than looking at the ball, scared to not even swing that bat. One thing you guys can do is say, excuse me, and then pause and do that with your hand. This is gonna buy you some time. Deep breath, and then hope that something comes to you. If it doesn't, say whatever, anything, just to get that conversation started. You're trying to defeat those voices that will inevitably come up. If you get too in your own head, they'll start telling you things like you're not good enough. What should I say? Don't even let those voices pop up. You're trying to slay the dragons before they even have a chance to surface, okay? You will talk yourself out of it if you begin to think for too long. It's like dipping your toe into a cold plunge. If you sit there for two minutes, you're going to talk yourself out of it. Just peel the band-aid off and start the conversation. That is it. Now to get even more experience talking to women, interact with the world more, right? As you're going about your day being present. Put that goddamn phone in your pocket and do not look at it until you get a girl's number. Presence, observe, commentate on what you see. Girls notice this. It's an extremely attractive quality to walk into a room and work that room, right? To go up and speak to people. Hi, how's it going? Wave, smile at people that you don't know. It's also gonna get you out of your head more. We're meant to be social. This isn't how it used to be years ago. Hop into the flying DeLorean and go back in time to when people were actually social with each other. It's crazy to me that just by going up and saying hi and asking how people are, People look at you like you have three heads. Oh my God, he actually wants to know how I am. He actually is interacting with me, right? Very few people are doing this, not you after watching this, hopefully. Now, sure, some of you guys may be saying, I don't really see a lot of attractive women. I work with a lot of guys, it's a sausage fest. I go to the gym and then home and that's my life. Well, what about the gym then, Gunther? Some of the hottest and highest quality girls that you'll see are at the gym. Are you just going to tell yourself that you can't approach them because you don't want to be perceived as creepy? There is a right way to go about doing that without coming off that way. So if you guys are interested in how you can do that, watch this video right here.